Speaking of commerce, there are a lot of people keeping a close eye on the new I-5 bridge project between Portland and Vancouver. And late last week, a major milestone for the effort. The first big federal investment to make it all happen. It's $600 million from something called the Mega Grant Program, which was created by the 2021 Bipartisan Infrastructure Package. The I-5 bridge program applied for the grant during the first round and was not selected, but they tried again with an ask of $600 million and will receive exactly that. This is like a validation that the federal government is serious about being a partner with Oregon and Washington and getting this done. But we know that a bridge is hampering our commerce and growth for the future. So getting this project some federal dollars so the two states can work towards an ultimate solution was really a key priority for us. Now, many of you may remember the failed Columbia River crossing project for more than 10 years ago. Its goal was to rebuild the bridges, but that effort failed. In fact, it did not get even far enough to get a grant like this one, even though this particular grant program did not did exist, did not exist back then. So the current project, I guess I'm trying to say, is doing much better. And when it comes to a massive project like this, that $600 million is just a piece of the pie. Remember, the project is not just building new twin bridges. They also want to replace the bridge that carries the freeway to Hayden Island from the Oregon mainland and build a new local bridge to the island extend max light rail across the river and rebuild or upgrade a bunch of I-5 interchanges in both Oregon and Washington. And that's going to cost a lot of money. The cost estimate as it stands right now, between five and seven billion, yes, with a B, billion dollars. That's total from soup to nuts. Let's call it six billion, shall we? The idea is to split the cost between Washington, Oregon, the feds and you with tolling. The two states have put in around 200 million and each pledged 1 billion more. They expect tolling to cover just over a billion in costs, leaving 2.5 billion that would need to come from the feds. The 600 million announced this month is a good start and a lot of money. The bridge team has two other competitive federal grant programs that they're eyeing. They're asking for 1.5 billion from the Federal Highway Administration's bridge investment program and around about a billion dollars from the Federal Transit Administration's Capital Investment Grants New Starts program. These names. That last one is interesting because it's meant for public transportation projects and the interstate bridge team says, well, this project qualifies because it includes the light rail extension to Vancouver, which I know some Vancouverites are not exactly thrilled about. What we need to do now is get the planning and construction efforts underway. And my sense is that more federal dollars will flow under those applications that the city of Vancouver and others have applied for. So what's next then? Well, there could be another round of federal funding announced early next year, potentially next month even. In regards to the bridge teams ask for that $1.5 billion. And depending on if and how much they receive from that request, the process for that separate public transportation grant will move forward next summer.